The Maritime Aquarium is also holding a sensory-friendly morning later on today, this morning. And for more info about all of these great events, you can just head to WTNH.com. And Zach here has the extra. I do. A good friend of ours, Tracy, is the director of the West Haven uh, Theater Department. And she's also talking about they have a show going on today at West Haven High School. Newsies, uh, 2 and 7 o'clock, the closing show is a great day to maybe watch a show. Kind of cool, damp, showery in some areas. So, yeah, good luck to those students performing. Uh, this is the closing day, so big day for them. Newsies is a good show yes. for us. Yes, Newsies. And, yeah, and you know, the Mystic <laughs> Seaport is having solar eclipse events tomorrow. Nice. And the weather is going to cooperate. In terms of not much sun, but obviously we don't need the sun tomorrow. We need the sun Monday, and the sun should be Oh, I'm be sorry, around. I meant Monday. Monday, Mystic okay. Seaport has events on Monday, <laughs> and yes. the eclipse is Monday. That is true, yes. so it's Monday, and the sun will be out on Monday, so that is the good news for them. Yeah, not too much sun today, though, so yes, notice a little bit of sun poking out there in Stratford. But it's more the exception, not the rule, because I expect lots of cloudy skies today. With a breezy wind, you can see that in the flag moving pretty uh, nicely here in Stratford. A cool feel out there with the wind. A couple of light rain or even snow showers out there on this first full weekend of April. So notice a couple wispy snow showers moving on by from the south, eventually now to the north, down to the south. But these will kind of dissipate over the next couple of hours. But we have a pesky low pressure that has still not moved at all. It's parked itself in the Gulf of Maine. That's going to slowly move back to the north and get out of here. But until then, cloudy conditions, breezy conditions, a couple light showers, especially in eastern Connecticut. Yeah, high pressure showing up, so that means we get the wind first, like today, not windy, but breezy, 15, maybe 25 mile per hour gust. But also, once this moves overhead tomorrow evening and Monday, we get the sunny skies and mild temperatures just in time for Eclipse Day 2024. But not today with the sunshine. Could be a couple peaks of sun, but overall lots of clouds. Temps in the 30s and 40s to start. Maybe near 50 by the afternoon, but factor in the wind, the clouds, and a couple light showers, especially east of 91. It will be by far a great day outside, so maybe go see the show in West Haven Newsies or any of your uh, indoor plans. Today's probably the day for that. Not a washout by any means, but just kind of damp and cool like yesterday. We do it again today. The good news, you kind of cleared things out overnight, so you're saying, Zach, great news for tomorrow. Well, I still think we get some clouds back in here, which is not the good news for tomorrow. And it could be a random flurry or a rain shower in the morning. Then we should clear up later in the evening. That would be the good news. So for those evening plans, a little bit warmer tomorrow, but still not the best of days, but not too much sunshine. By dinner time, a little bit better. And then clearing skies overnight, that sets the stage for a great looking forecast for Eclipse Day. Here's your future cast, the Euro. Lots of sunny skies, no rain around some showers back down to the south, so the path may be impacted by some weather, but at least our area not. And same thing up toward the north, in Rutland, in Syracuse, uh, Vermont, Buffalo, that's where they're going to see totality. No issues for weather-wise here, so a perfect setup for us with 60-degree temperatures and lots of sun. And talking about 60s, how about near 70 inland on Tuesday? So we bring that mercury way up, and then we drop it down mid to late week. And you guessed it, there must be a change in the pattern there. That means another rainstorm to track mid to late week. Here's your, how the solar forecast will look. Here's your path of totality for this eclipse. We've showed you this many times. You have a couple more days to show it to you today, tomorrow, and then, of course, on Eclipse Day on Monday. There it is. The closer view shows we are at 92%, so close enough, but the path of totality back to the north in Vermont, New York, up towards Canada, and the Great Lakes down towards the south as well. But we can still see a decent view of it, just won't get to total eclipse path, which is back to the north and west. Now, here's your forecast for today. Luckily, no eclipse today because lots of clouds will be around breezy. A spot shower temps near 50, dress for closer to 40 with that north wind up to 20. Sunrise 627, so it's getting yet yeah, even earlier as we go along through the time here. Shoreline 37 tonight, 34 inland, partly to mostly cloudy skies on the chilly side. Sunset 724 this evening. May get a little nice sunset depending if the clouds break up in your town, but I think the clouds still went out. On the extended forecast, more rain for uh, today and a couple showers possible, nothing steady. Some sun tomorrow, I think more sun than today. A light shower still cannot be ruled out. Sunny and mild for eclipse day. A couple wispy cirrus clouds may be out and about, but nothing that should really block any major views of this event, of course. Mild on Tuesday, how about near 70 inland? Wednesday through Friday, the rain may return in a big way with several inches possible. Once again, incredible amounts of rain, breezy and hopefully drying up for next Saturday. All right, Zach, thank you. And